speaking with Oliver Hasler this morning, Chairman and Chief Executive of PYX Resources. Oliver, morning. Good afternoon, Andrew. How are you doing? Good afternoon in Hong Kong. Very well, Oliver. Uh, look, firstly, give us a, a brief overview, if you would, of PYX. So P, uh, PYX is a mineral sands mining company listed in Australia since February 2020 and since November 2021, uh, dual listed also on the main market of the London Stock Exchange. Our primary mining is for zircon with byproducts of rutel and ilmenite. So Kalimantan sands, I mean, our zircon, most of you know about zircon. You use it in, in your homes every day. What covers the tiles and makes them white, hard, scratch resistance, chemical resistance, that is zircon for the same reason it's used in also in high technology and in, in fake teeth. It covers airspace program uh, capsules, etc. So, so it is a very interesting material. It's a material also used for new innovation, semiconductors, batteries for electric vehicles, uh, solar cells, etc. So we have been in production. We are mine that is in production since 2015 and growing. In 2021, we acquired a second mine. So we're a listed company with a very large uh, resource in production. I want to bit, dig a bit deeper into the operational environment in Indonesia. How are you finding it? What would you say are some of the benefits of being there? Indonesia is a very interesting mining company uh, country. It's Indonesia is a key mining uh, destination. As, as you know, they're, they're very large especially in nickel, bauxite, in iron, in, in coal, in, in tin, etc. So it is a big mining uh, country. It has a very good quality of zircon. Kalimantan zircon sands are known for the very high whiteness, the low radioactivity, the low alumina content. So customers look for uh, Kalimantan sands. As you've seen from the news, it has been, Indonesia has been very stable socially, politically, and economically. Uh, investments gets the right pro uh, protections. We, they did a big change in 2012 from COWs, from contracts of works to IUP licenses, which are uh, much more transparent. Sorry, this was in 2009. It's a low cost country, not only for, for, for in production purposes, it also allows you to do low cost exploration, which is very important in the first phase uh, of the project. Mm -hmm. And then, as you know, the biggest market in our case for all of our products, zircon and titanium dioxide is China. Indonesia is the biggest Belt and Road country, so a strategic ally for China. China likes buying products in Indonesia. Lucky enough, Palankaraya, this is the capital city of central Kalimantan, that's where we have our offices in Indonesia, was candidate of becoming the new capital city of Indonesia. And as a result of, of that, we have uh, a, a large airport, we have hotels, we have uh, uh, hospitals in Palankaraya, all the way to the mine and to the factories, a government paved road. We just announced that we connected to the electrical grid, which gives us an opportunity of drastically reducing the cost. And we have uh, ports, uh, which are used today to export coal, iron, oil, uh, or, uh, iron ore, palm oil, etc. And our products so we do not have to invest in this very big cap capex lines, which are logistics. So even if we're in the more underdeveloped part of Indonesia, we, we are very lucky with counting with strong logistics in the area. How's the tax regime there? Well, in particular, for, for our uh, products, we pay 1.5% uh, royalty on exports. Then we have things like district taxes of uh, $8 uh, per ton. We have to pay rent on, on, on the tenement, which is $4 per ton. And the corporate rate is 22% at the moment in Indonesia. So it's, it's positive if you compare to most of the mining countries in the world. Oliver, you've said previously the strategy here is to consolidate the mineral sands projects within Indonesia. Just how big is the opportunity? Uh, we have started already. We started with, as you know, when we listed originally in Australia in 2020, we listed with one tenement, which is in production, which is in uh, Mandiri. In 2021, we acquired a second mine, which is Tisma, which is not in production yet. It's difficult to say how big the opportunity is. There are many, many uh, mines 
in the country, or zircon mines in the country, in particular in Kalimantan, and little transparency, and these are not public companies, so little transparency uh, about how big the potential is. But as you know, Australia and, and Africa slowly are running out of resources. Indonesia is one of the country with a big potential into the future. So it's much larger than we are today. And we're continuously looking at it. So it's huge. That's all I can tell you. Well, I suppose just going on that, you're not considering diversifying into other countries then? Like, obviously, it's part of, of our discussions, and one day we could do that. But I believe right now we're relatively new mine. We are in production. Uh, we have been focusing very strongly on, on increasing our production, starting with byproducts. Now we're looking into drastically reducing our costs. So I think we have enough homework uh, in, in Mandiri. We have a second tenement that's not in production yet. As we just mentioned, we could consolidate the area. So it could happen one day, but I believe in focus, and now is not the moment to 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 lose our attention from where we are at this moment in time. You mentioned earlier about the the London and Australia listings. Is the intention to maintain both? Absolutely. I mean, uh, we we are very happy. Australia gave us a very strong opportunity of list very fast, and is the basis of our original investors. Then we went to London, which gave us more visibility uh, into the international markets. London is also a market that understands very well mineral sands, many mining companies from Africa and Southeast uh, Asia is giving us a, a much stronger liquidity. So we're happy with our actual uh, dual listing. Good to speak, Oliver. Thanks very much. Thank you, Andrew.